So in in my case, I'm gonna uh, reduce and and talk mostly about two of the tools in in the way in which in this moment with a public policy makers according with uh, common agriculture pra uh, pack pack or cap depending if in English or or in Latin languages um, and according with the responsibility and the directive of waste that European Union had designed. So how, how can we manage between community capital and social capital and the policymakers in different subjects as uh, agriculture and, and waste? And all of those, I'm going to regard in this, in this small uh, presentation about how social economy will link that according with more natural-based solutions. I think the natural-based solution that we will, we will discuss uh, further later on, but probably natural-based solutions is just a concept. Who are using natural-based solutions? Probably everybody. Any large-scale company in the world are, can use natural-based solutions so that we need to assess what means exactly natural-based solutions. One, two, three, four, or five. Um, stars or any way of for for remarking if you've done it better or less with more social and, and economic uh, solutions, uh, social community and solidarity or and more natural based solutions. So the script of what I'm going to try to explain to you in the next minutes, first of all, the overview about CSE as social movements around the world, community support agriculture. Um, the second point, Jose Luis has been talking about that composting uh, communities. I will do it shortly. After that, I will consider one of the cases that seven years later, it's already alive because La Mola has that, but the, the CSA Vega de Jarama, one of the cases that we are going to uh, research in, in Madrid, is, is it still alive. Why it is still alive is one of the conclusions that I would like to share with you. And some um, slides about social economy and enterprises on composting and agriculture. Finally, I would like to share with you a kind of heuristic or idea or concept that um, I have been thinking is the community B valve, so in, in the sense that we, we need to make biomimesis and how can we use biological model that had been running for thousands of millions, thousands of years around uh, all along the, the life in, in, in the earth. And some of those solutions are uh, a kind of metaphor for explaining how social economy will go on ahead in a correct balance with public policies. This is one of the subjects that we're going to try to explain to you in my badly English. So first of all, what mean a community support agriculture that comes from an, uh, um, a Canadian, uh, because there are many different um, networks working with community support agriculture around the world. But I think this is this slide will be clear because this is a two a kind of two links between families, homesteads, that will support with a found before the moment of the crop, before receiving the vegetables or whatever product from animal farmers, etc. Before they guarantee the farmers that they will have money for, for financing their investments, even the seeds. Or the petrol, or the or the tractor, or whatever. So there are a link between the communities that take care, take care, support the farmers, and then the farmers produce exactly what the family needs for for feeding in a healthy uh, uh, way. Right. This is this is the to me the more clear what means a community support uh, agriculture. Obviously. So there was the double link between the homesteads that will support free funds, advance money in order that the farmers will uh, buy some of the incomes that they need or whatever investment. And this is the double link. So we need to create a kind of community confidence or community trust because usually in the market, a family go to the supermarket or go to the farmer directly to the farmer and they pay for the product but it's not the same the fact of became part of his problems and his challenges in order to go go together all um later on in a more sustainable and a healthy food this kind of culture is spread all around the world in this case i use from europe so we are european 
um, eurocentric as well. Sorry about that. No, I, I'm joking. Uh, IFOAM is a large scale organic farming in international research and action organism that has uh, um, an online map where you can check wherever community support agriculture. You see how wealthy is Brazil in order to have community support agriculture. In Europe, we are not so badly, but the common agriculture policy are clearly against this kind of community processes in agriculture. What, where come these uh, community support agriculture from? The first idea come from uh, the, the post, the, the late Second uh, World War in Japan, where after losing the war, the Minister of Agriculture and Healthy and, and Survive in, in Japan decide to create a kind of profession, the facilitator between a farmer and the local community in order to facilitate a link that, that, that would permit the farmer produce exactly what the community need to feed them. So the minister, instead, instead of saving the crop in a large scale systems, they decided to decentralize because they were not able as a state for thinking in this uh, large scale manner. So they decided to go ahead in more community uh, way. I think in, the, in this moment of the history, probably uh, an intelligent common agricultural practice I think that must invest in this kind of community process, not only a large scale oil production, tractors um, with with many with many um, industries uh, or or investments. Um, so this is the starting point. Take a around 1950, the the, the end of the Second uh, World. Then United States they learn about that and they start as well. They have thousands of community support agriculture, even if they're in another network, not in this one. But we can say this is a really large scale way of community agriculture all around the world, right? Here you have uh, the FAO, which is mostly the, the organism, the organism of, of United Nations for Food and Agriculture organization. They have published publish different papers according with community support agriculture. Here you have the link to the organization in Europe called Urgency. It's a really, uh, you know, a single and, and, and really pretty um, guide for working on community support agriculture in, in Europe. Here you have a definition. Community support agriculture is a direct partnership between a group of consumers and producers whereby the risk, responsibilities, and rewards of farming activities are shared through long-term agreements between both. We need papers. We need to create trust. We need to go uh, in a more community than just social market process, generally operating on a, on a, a small and local scale, and th th CSI, CCS, um, aims of providing quality food produced in an agroecological agro way. I think this is a single definition of how in Europe we see that. So probably in India you have a, 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 as well a really large network with their own definition, etc. So I think that this is clear what means community support agriculture. We are both a community. We need more than just a market link between your product and my, consume, my consumption at, at home. So concerning community composting, um, Jose Luis has been talking about that. It's a place where people not just go and come the, the, the food from the garden to my refrigerator, but how my bio waste go to the garden through a community process. This is community composting in different places. Some of them we has been uh, um, facilitating and, and dynamizing then, and I expect that you will research about that in the Magic Assessment case. For instance, this one in, in Mostoles. This was critical because it, this, pro, this, this project um, is related with the starting point of the community support agriculture, Vega de Jarama, in Madrid, which is this community supporter that is still alive from this social movement in Spain between uh, 29, 2010, 2011, and 2016, when most part of the social capital kind of revolution, but mostly community revolution, that really uh, uh, policy revolution, 
we start with different breaks, some of them continue and others have failed. This is the case of how we start in, in Torre Mocha de Jarama with a community composting. We start from the community. This is uh, um, really critical for the conclusions. We start from a social and community trust, but we go for inviting the public policy. This is um, Mariano. He is the manager of the um, association of municipality with the responsible of, 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 of uh, managing the, the bio waste. And those are some of the um, environmental educators that they use for training, sorry, for education with the schools in order to recycle, etc. So they come there to our, our facilities and they start learning about how to do community composting from a, a social point of view. And uh, nowadays, these composting communities are as well spread all around the world, as happened with community support agriculture, probably the most um, evolved and the more large scale and with more policy um, impact are in the United States. This is the Neighborhood Soil Resilience and the Institute for Local Self Resilience. There are many, many, many movements in the United States working on that, on that kind of of community composting process with many manuals and guides for, for going ahead. I will not explain how to compost because the time is running, you have not so much, but I think it's, it's critical to explain that composting is using what we don't eat because it's a waste from our uh, canteens or, or cookers. So what we don't eat, we feed uh, a composting box where the bacteria and the microorganisms, microorganisms will produce the sustain of the soil, which is the humic acid. So it's a similarity between how human beings use that or every animal use that and how the microbiome will use that. We produce uh, proteins and the, the last process feed the land with humic acids. In in order to understand and go and go uh, further that what did policy, common agriculture policy or um, waste um, European policies or directives, etc., we need to consider a new concept coming from the Anglo-Saxon world, as many of, of those social innovations, uh, which is the virtuous cycles. How value system and sustainability, sustainability is to rethink from our homestead what are we producing as bio waste coming from cooking, but as well the manner of human, the, the human ear, will come back in order to feed the land that after that would feed us. This is a more virtual cycles than what usually are used. I have shared this with you uh, before. I think it's really important this, this concept because balance both parts. This is a wonderful um, um, web created by, by um, Naira Schof Enden, a, a German uh, page where they are thinking how to have a, a global vision about this double balance, how the organic waste, the bio waste, instead polluting our waters, nitrogenous, phosphorus, which is one of the main problems of, of the world, according with the Institute of Resilience of uh, Stockholm, probably the first of all, with the loss of biodiversity, is the polluting process and, and wasting manage and mm, mm, as, as social Luis explained, the landfill are a problem and most part of large scale system for for produce for for managing um, waste are uh, a great pollutant. Instead, pollutant uh, water or soil producing carbon structures with the nutrients that we can use from the organic circle instead coming from the nitrogenous, from petrol industries and chemistry and all of, some of the more, the bigger companies around the world are related with this kind of, of chemical productions. And after that, feed the community that has contributed. This is the vision that share many of the people and that's what we try to include and that's one of the reasons because it's con I, I think it continues alive, the community support agriculture, Beja de Jarama in Torremocha. This is an assessment case. Here you have the, the web. This community has to start with around 30 families in 2015. Nowadays, 
instead reducing that now nowadays it has more than near 200 families in more than 100 kilometers around and people come here we have kind of community where people go to collect the basket with the vegetables of the season always and, and it's a point where you will join where other people sharing the same values it's a, a, a kind of not only uh, saving the, the the employment local employment helping them to 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 go further with their investment we are part with our money from this from this system i have been contributing from the starting point and i con i continue there right so we're, now we are near 200 homesteads we start Franco, as, as, Franco, we, yeah. please. Sorry? Yeah, trying to finish, trying to finish, okay. All right, time to finish. So I will show you some oh, images as happened with, with Joaquin. We had some um, hens, but the policymakers closed these uh, hen houses. We have three for producing eggs for the community, 300 hens, but they closed because vet problems. Mostly there were a head problem, but we have so many things to, to work in the case of Europe, because some of the warranty conditions are in fact reduction, reduction for the community uh, ongoing. Uh, here you have as well the hens that had been running for four years, but two years ago or three that closed. Here you have the community, the volunteers. We have two employees and other two, which are the, the addition of different hours or more than 30 people collaborating, making the baskets, or here you have the the, the, the matrix where you can uh, fill up if you have time for working Friday, Saturday, or, or Sunday, the days where the, the workers of the association are resting. Here you have some of the images and how the, the baskets are prepared, uh, and you go there to collect the, your baskets. At least uh, five different products in every every week along the year, and we are not in a really tropical weather. Believe me, it's mostly cold, and during the winter it's difficult to product. So we have um, a hot house, and of course there are many um, points of of, of uh, meeting for people in this in this in this um, meeting. You remember, Jose Luis, you you come here. For start researching with with them in September last last September, so I must finish. So I go ahead to the conclusions. Right, sorry about that. So we can between the link between a farmer and consumer. We have first of all the the common policy, common agriculture policy, the CAP or PAC in Europe, is mostly worry about how to provide healthy and secure food, secure in terms of price, secure in terms of health, and, and in terms or or the health of, of people for not, not, not eating some kind of, of, of pollution. So uh, we are and probably one of the most secure food system in the world, in Europe, right? But what happened that we expect that the, the farmers, now, now they are trying to move all around the, the Europe, their, their reivindication. Um, the, the community support agriculture, sorry, I will go further. So in this first link is the conventional European policy. If we, the addition of the second one, share risk and some kind of financial support, taking care of the farmers because they are in a really weak situation, according with the global market. So this is the community support agriculture focus, this means community policy, and the problem is that there are not support at all in Europe to that. It's mostly based on bottom-up movement in our case um, until now. And the third one is the farmer need to uh, fertilize land. They will do it with with uh, an organic and, fer and chemical fertilizer or through a virtual a virtuous uh, circle focused, as I explained to you later. And this is the last one, I promise you, Pedro. This is the idea of, uh, it's a kind of heuristic metaphor of community-based process in Europe, right? It's a conclusion about our experience of eight, 10 years working on that in Europe. We think that the community is a kind of tender and tiny community meet. So we are really weak as communities that will disappear of La Mola happen or many other experiences, community experiences in Europe have disappeared. 
If, if there are a crisis, we start organizing a community manner. If the crisis um, reduce and the wealth come back with conventional economy, so we reduce the community capital. So we have a tender and tiny community meet, a kind of community flame or, or a candle that will be sustained, but we need the shells. And what are the shells of the case of community support agriculture uh, in, in Torremocha? So the first of all, and I didn't explain to you before, First of all, we are cropping in a public land. They're really difficult for a community to access in a market where the farmer, the conventional industrial farmers, they are producing according with the market and they are capturing all the land around them. It's impossible to achieve an adult land in a, in the private market. So we had public market, public land, sorry. And we have public organic waste, not only for feeding land, but we receive about 100 uh, euros per ton that permit to complement the salary of the people which are salaried. If not, that will not continue. It's not enough having two workers with two times uh, of the um, two complete time of, of addition of hours of volunteers. So, and in the top, and it's a really a critical question that uh, I think concern Translite Houses and how to share this light uh, over our frontiers and over our, our time of, of work is that we need an overshell, which is research, social, and innovation support. With, without this overshell, there will be not possibility for going further in Europe with community uh, process, right? So it's a kind of public shells with tender communities, the conclusion that I would like to share with you for, for this and this experience. Thank you very much.